Brandon and I are having way too much fun at work today. We <laughs> we really are. He's pulling me out backwards. I've got my truck in neutral because it's muddy. And you'll see that in today's video. <laughs> uh, we, uh, <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. Uh, it's a good day for working. Got some trees on the ground. Uh, you'll see them in the video here. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't know when we're going to get to work again because we're calling for more rain tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And if I'm getting pulled out of the landing backwards, you can probably guess it's wet and muddy. So, <laughs> be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm, I'm still laughing at something. I wish we could do a bloopers reel one day. I really do. I do, but I don't because <laughs> it'd be good. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Uh, find us on all of our social outlets, Turner Vlogging LLC at Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to check out everything going on with Logger Threads at Logger Threads at Facebook and Instagram and loggerthreads.com for all the apparel and everything. Logging and timber and forestry equipment and forestry, everything at timbertracker.net where you can find links to the app uh, to download the free app on your mobile devices. I've got this big iPad tablet here iPad or tablet, whatever they call it. That's what I use the app on. So, guys, enjoy today's video. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we got some sunshine today. Got Brandon on the skitter, too. Brandon hadn't drug any logs, the skitter, in several years. So, I talked him into coming to work with me today makes things go a lot faster when you got somebody dragging for you. Brandon's, when we were young, Brandon, he worked for a logger and drug logs. I was pretty jealous of the time because there for a while he was running a new timber jack, a brand new 360. I mean brand new when they first come out in 2000. So we're going to gas up then we're going to start this ditch right here some decent walnut down this ditch we're going to start on this ditch and just kind of work our way down to the main creek we'll just cut everything as we come to it we're, we want to get the walnut out fast I'd like to sell the walnut Monday but we're just going to cut everything as we come to it but we'll start right here work our way down try to get a bunch on the landing Brandon's sneaking through the woods there he's clearing a top out of the road for me for, for me the landowner for everybody i guess one of the trees i felt fell right out there and kind of plugged things up so he's getting that i'm hung up i'm waiting on him i signal him to come over here and kind of push on this top for me got another one right there for him to get and hopefully we can make some pretty good headway today it's a nice day I think we've got some uh we'll we'll at least work i'd like to work till noon one o'clock somewhere because i i know we both got some things to do in springfield later today and we're clear for by kansas city so we're at harrisonville north of harrisonville so we got a we got a little bit of a drive to get back but it's not too bad it's only about an hour and a half up here it's not it's not too bad of a drive all four lane highway the whole way so You can't hardly even see that old skitter in there, can you? Hopefully we can get all this ditch cut and we'll go down here and get on the big creek because there's some there's some good walnut on the big creek. We're just and it's not that these walnut through here aren't it's not that they're not good trees, but uh but the bigger ones are on down below. And I'd like to get some of them laid on the ground and out today, too. We'll leave this old shingle oak here. We won't cut him. He's short-bodied anyway. We'll leave him. Here comes Brandon. Now we're cutting this, uh... I don't... We come across this stuff every now and then, like this some big one I got here. It's kind of like water oak, but it's not. We, we call it like a hybrid or a turkey oak. It cuts really pretty. I mean, it's got a really good grain to it. 
It cuts really pretty lumber, like a red oak, but at the same time, it'll have some of these little pin knots, like a water oak, and it gets big like a water oak. And most of the time, we sell it for grade logs, so it works out pretty good. Brandon's dragging that one there out. Easy. I might not have cut off real good. I didn't. I better go cut this thing real quick. Here we go. We got him cut off. I don't know. I was just telling Brandon that he started to kind of sink down a little bit. Which they've had a lot of rain up here. If it starts sinking down too bad, cutting too bad of ruts, we'll just we'll shut it down. I'm not going to tear the timber up. Not going to tear the timber up. We'll let it settle a few more days, which they're calling for more. Today's supposed to be the only nice day. Today's the first day. We've seen the sunshine for seems like a week. Uh, I guess it's shined, yeah, last Saturday. Probably the last day we've seen the sunshine. But they're saying starting tomorrow it's supposed to rain the next four days in the forecast. So, And it's already wet up here. Of course, we're you get down this creek bottom here, which we're kind of on a shelf. Come on, Brandon. What are you doing? Brandon's a... He's a good operator, and he's drug a lot of logs. But he's probably got a little rust on him. He ain't run a skitter in a few years. So once he gets that rust knocked off, he'll be back to where he was, needs to be. Ooh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Anyway, so we got a really good bur oak up here coming up. We'll get that guy cut. Kind of got a funky bow to it. Kind of leans out that way, then the top comes back this way. Ain't no hill for a high stepper though. That's a that is a slick bur oak right there. Slick, slick, slick. And, uh, like I said, it's kind of see you right down in there. Kind of steps down into that shelf or bowl, whatever you want to call it. We're kind of here on this higher ground, which we got a few more of these hogs right here, which this, I'd say this sucker here probably got 600 foot in it total. But anytime, to me, anytime you can cut these trees that are, these oak that are running over 200 foot of tree, you're doing pretty good. You can, you can make a little money doing it. And that's what I try to keep in mind. Just try to cut the stuff that runs over 200 foot of tree on the oak. And you get some of this stuff in here that's got some height to it. That's not, not a big feat to accomplish, 200 foot in a tree. But they, they need, to, need to have some diameter, needs to have some height too. So we'll get down here, see if we can get to whittle some more. I gotta get this one cut off before he comes back. He's starting to have a little bit of a drag distance. You can see them ruts there, I just don't like that. Mm, don't like that at all. Yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Whew. That's beast. That is a good log. My gosh. What a bur oak. I wish I'd had Brandon down here. Video when I took this thing down. I'm pretty happy with my cut for as big as that thing was too, of course. You know, I, these trees like this, when, they, when they've got these spurs, I bore them out and I'll leave those spurs hold, and that's how I help control the fall. Which for us, what we do, it works great. I mean, people argue that fact, and they're, <laughs> they're more than welcome to argue it. I don't care. But we, uh, it works well for us. It's what I grew up learning how. To, that's how I learned how to cut growing up. It's how my dad taught me, and for like, especially walnut and even these bigger oak like this, where the where the stumps are a little flared. Uh, you can see a lot of this is stumps exposed on the back side, but you go to the front side there, we're not too far off the ground. So without digging it, we got about as low as we could on this bur oak here, but that's a, that'll veneer. That'll actually be a veneer, a veneer log there. Quite a bit of it too. Quite a bit of it. A lot of, a lot of stuff in that log. A lot of footage. A lot of, a lot of good log in it. Yeah, that's a some kind of tree there. I didn't even notice this walnut here. That's a pretty good walnut. Kind of a scaly bark looking walnut. Another good bar oak to cut there. Nothing like this guy, but good tree. Brandon's up here on top of the dish. 
man, it's uh, I like that. I like that right there. Sure do. Sure do. That's probably one of the better bur oak that I have ever cut. I've cut bigger, but as far as quality wise, that's that's a champion there. Let's see Brandon get this thing here. I think I got it cut off good for him. You'll see I'm filming the pressure's on now. Brandon's drug a lot of logs. He's he's drug a he's run a few different log skitters. Like I said he's a he's a good operator in whatever he gets on. He might be a might be a little rusty right now, but it won't take him long to knock that rust off. He'll be right back at it. And of course this little 548 here's got quite a few corks to it, so unless somebody's really used to running it, they'd it'd take him a little bit to get her all all figured out anyway. Just gonna pinch it. Nope, gonna go all the way down on it. That's a good log in itself. I mean, it really is. footage that old thing I should have got the gas and oil from him because I know I can probably work this one up and I'd say I'm about out again I have to refuel uh, when he comes back he's gonna have to drag this log from the, from the top so I'll see if I got enough gas to work this thing up there's gonna be a whole lot to do but we'll see if we can get it worked up and get it ready for him Brandon's gonna try to wrestle old big here. That is just a sweetheart of a log. Surely I got all the limbs cut off the top of it. Sometimes them big suckers when they fall, if they fall on their limbs, it'll smash them down, you know, and you can't always see them. Of course, sometimes they're hard to get to to top them anyway, and these, of course, I got a walnut there and it fell back towards it and I cut this long thing here. It fell back towards it. This bur oak's coming back this way. This next big walnut here is gonna come back this way. So we gotta kinda, we can't get in too big a hurry or we'll, we'll bury ourselves. Boy, what a log. That's a jewel. He's spinning a little. sucker's heavy. He's had to change drag roads here. He's having to go out kind of the long way, but at least we're still moving wood. One thing about it, you're cutting these big trees, you burn up a lot of saw gas. And, you know, we, we got a saw gas this morning. I've probably got enough left for maybe, maybe one or two more tanks. Probably two. But maybe we can get finished this little peninsula here. I'd like to get these big walnut cutting out anyway. Well, he's giving the old what for. I have no doubt in my mind that thing's pulling hard. <laughs> Let's see if we can lay a few more down. Whoa boy, whoa boy. That one was gonna get me bugger I've got this one over here cut it's just kind of sitting there on stilts this one was hung up Brandon come down here and jerked it down there's a lot of footage in that hog there's a lot of footage in that old thing he's gonna have trouble getting that out getting ready to start now he's mowing over yeah here's where he's gonna have trouble 
Yeah, you're right there, spun out. We already hooked the cable up to it because we knew this was coming. When he comes back, I want him to get these two walnut here. That way I can go ahead and fell this burrow because it's going to go right in there on these tops. This is where we really need a set of chains. At least a set on the front. trouble now I think he can go around if he can move that log I think he can run right up that draw there I'll go over here see if I can assess the situation oh boy we had to I had to unhook the log and winch up backwards. And now we've got back a hold of that log. And I don't usually, we're not cutting any ruts right here, it's just slick. And without chains, that skitter just wasn't able to climb up out of there. It didn't take much winching up out. But I just, I don't like logging like this or logging when the conditions are like this. It just, it's a lot of ground disturbance. Uh, I mean, it's just like this. You fight, and you fight to get every log out. You know, we spent 30 minutes or so trying to get this one log out, and that's just... Thankfully, it's walnut, and you can justify doing it, but still, I can't justify spending that much time on any log getting it out. But that's just... It's either try to do something or sit at home and do nothing, and I don't want to do that. It's the only day of sunshine we're going to have for a while, too, the way it looks. Brandon's going to try to grapple. But that that is a big log. There's a lot of footage in that old walnut there. <laughs> I think we're starting to get a pretty good pile of logs out there, the way Brandon talks. I'm real bad about when I'm cutting. I don't even keep track, hardly. I just, I work. I don't, I'm bad about keeping track of how much I cut. I might keep track of how many tanks of gas I've run through, but... Oh, pick it up. That's going to be fun to buck, all packed full of mud. At this point in time, as long as we can get it out. Oh, front end's coming off the ground. These old tall trees are just... When you take soft ground conditions and tall timber, it makes things rough. What's amazing, looking through, like I said, looking through the camera, that doesn't even look like an incline right there. It really doesn't. Don't let that fool you. It is. Indeed it is. It's going to be a long video today, isn't it? Watch him suck this thing over there. Oh, yeah. Good and packed full of mud. No, I have trouble now. Take it around that tree. There he goes. Get her hung up. Oh. <laughs> Dead anyway, wasn't it? Well, I think we'll bring this bring this bur oak on down. Almost hate to, because gosh, it's gonna fall right in there and we need to get these other two out. Might wait. All right, let's go cut something. Brandon's pushing debris out. We're gonna try to come down over the hill right here. It's kind of got a gradual slope. We had to get those couple walnut out of there. And this big bur oak here, like I said, I've got it all, but it's just the spurs are hanging on to it. I haven't clipped any of the spurs. I've got about five spurs holding it. So he's gonna push this debris out. I've got a couple walnut back over here. I've got cut. We're going to try to get them out. Like a champ. Like a champ. Oh, 
That ought to work real good there. That ought to work real good. It's pretty good trees up here I've still got yet to cut. That one there, it's got a squirrel hole in it. You can see that squirrel hole there. It's got that growth on the back side too. I don't know how good it'll be, but we'll probably try to bring it down. Now these two gems here, these are lovely specimens. We're gonna cut them yet. These two I got cut, they're not they're not too bad of trees. Some on that point over there to cut. We'll have to winch these out of here. Brandon's backing up now. He's ready to do things. I'll hook the cable. Taking her on, taking her on. Pull up here and we'll cut it off. Keep going, we're good, we're good. Nice. Well, we're gonna wrap it up for today because it's wet. I actually just got hung up in the truck. Brandon's gotta, Brandon's gotta pull me out. Oh. The oak's pretty good. Like I said it's pretty good oak. It's that big burr oak, the walnut. The walnut's cutting real good. I'm gonna go down here and look at it now before I get cussed at again and get stuck. It's pretty neat. Just a minute ago, uh, we were standing here and I was taking some pictures of logs and I seen this car stop on the road and man, I didn't even catch the guy's name. I feel bad about that. Uh, he said he watched our YouTube channel and just stopped along the road here and come up here and talked for a minute and we kind of shot the breeze and away he went. Now there's some more walnut in there we that are hung up. We didn't get drugged down. Brandon didn't get them drugged down. Probably four, maybe five. They're cutting pretty good. My gosh, we're having to mud them out. That's the part I hate. I mean, it's even out, like I said, out here, it's soft. 550 stuck right now it's not a good time to be logging i hate i hate making ruts like this I absolutely hate it hate it hate it hate it <laughs> i got stuck there where we parked oh boy getting ready to get pulled out <laughs> 